I know it means the world to Natasha. We often notice how devoted she always remains to her family and native. Uh, finally married now. Um, for me, I believe that Natasha will make all the decisions. So, um, one of my presents to you is to make your last decision on this day. So, which speech do you want? I'm not even colourblind, so. Black and white. <laughs> I want to know what colour that is. Yellow. Yellow or purple? Oh, I'll go yellow. Okay, yellow. <laughs> I hope you still like me after this speech. <laughs> <laughs> Can we turn the halfway through? Yeah. I'm a little bit nervous, so please forgive me. So, ladies and gentlemen, family, friends, old and new. Today we celebrate all the good things that these two have found in each other. A best friend, a lover, a teacher, a hopeless handyman, a playmate and pole dancer, and a true partner in life. As most of you will understand, being a best man can be a pretty nerve-wracking thing. But I tell you, it's right. But, nevertheless, I'm very honoured to have been given this privilege. Most people in my know that I'm not the typical best man. Yeah. I'm not the, um, sorry? Yeah. I'm not the typical the best man. I'm not the <laughs> old school or childhood friend. Johan and I met about five years ago at, um, when my team was desperately looking for a new soccer player. And that desperate player was Johan. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> he could not get rid of him ever since. <laughs> but I must have been really looking forward to his day today because he has finally admitted it. I'm in fact the best man. <laughs> <laughs> Well, associates once said that you can exactly tell a man's heart and soul by the way he plays on the battlefield. Will he know when to stay back to protect his own goal, when to go up front and help his fellow teammates score another one? Knowing when to pass, or will knowing when to take medicine to his own hands? I'm quoting the shortly died Johnny Warren. Seeing young play, I think everyone would say he's unique. He has a style of playing, but the opponent hasn't got a clue what will happen next. Will he go left or right? Will he yeah, shoot? Yeah. He fools everyone. Everyone, including himself. <laughs> and I think some of these points must be what Natasha would be looking for in him. All of this, and maybe his money. <laughs> <laughs> to have a successful marriage, um, there's a couple of things to start off you need to watch. It's quite simple. Say sorry when you mess up. Never go to bed angry. A problem shared is a problem halved. And if she asks you, honey, does my bum look big in his pants? Never say yes. <laughs> So knowing these two, I know they appreciate it very much all of you being here today, but knowing the Australian, Scottish, Chilean, Swedish, Dutch and New Zealand culture myself, I know how far people, people will travel for a free meal and a couple of glasses of wine a year. <laughs> <laughs> but I must say I'm completely convinced that Natasha has found the perfect partner for herself. For a girl that runs through life, falling over stuff, dropping and breaking things, bouncing her head on anything possible, but now she's got you on. <laughs> so, what about me by as an engineer, he should be able to fix anything broken, repair it, and make it even stronger. So next time when she bounces it on the same thing, it'll hurt even more. <laughs> <laughs> but please don't get me wrong, for me, Natasha is one of the most caring and loving human creatures I've ever met in my life. She might be a bit clumsy, but that becomes overshadowed by a whole lot of other skills. <laughs> always knowing when to say the right thing, always listening, always knowing when to come around when no one else is here to help you. You are that person that when kids are young and still believe in witches, miracles and wonders, you are that one that will save them from anything that disturbs their dreams, minds and thoughts. So, as you can tell, not a man of many words, and my armpits are telling me to wrap it up with a couple of tips from a man that is not married. <laughs> don't say anything. <laughs> Number one, don't leave the toilet seat up. Number two, remember birthdays and anniversaries. Yeah. Number three, don't leave the toilet seat up. <laughs> Number four, buy flowers regularly, but not too often because it will become suspicious. <laughs> and number five, keep telling her those most important three words. You are right. <laughs> so, always remember, to have a successful life, you need lots of laughter, love, and just one wife. Please make sure that both of your lives will stay in bloom. Ladies and gentlemen, the bride and groom. <laughs>
now I can drink. <laughs> <laughs>